Hi, Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com. I want to show you a cool little tip on how to add a spacer to your dock. This little dock spacer can easily be added by simply entering some text into a terminal window. Now, here's how we do this. First of all, we got this tip from Lifehacker, so big thanks to them. And uh, we just want to show you how to do it. What you want to do is open up a terminal window. Hit Command and Space. This brings up Spotlight Search. Type in Terminal and then hit enter. The terminal window will open up. Now if you're nervous about entering text into terminal window, I understand you could potentially damage your system. So make sure you've got a good backup. You can do that with um, Time Machine. Uh, I've got a link in the article that I wrote about this uh, tutorial over at notebooks.com. You'll find the link at the end of the video. What you want to do is simply um, make sure you got a good backup and then you want to get this text. Now I've already got the text separated out here. You can find this again on that uh, article. Just copy it. Go over here. Paste it. Now make sure you don't get the quotes on either side of it from our article over there. It should end with uh, a single apostrophe there and uh, should begin with nothing. So make sure it begins with the word defaults and ends with this string here. Once you've got that, hit enter. Now it doesn't seem like it's doing anything at this point, but it actually is. In order to get the results to actually show up, you hit, you you type in kill all, space capital D O C, kill all doc. What that does is that refreshes the doc. But what you see down here is at the end of all of our docked icons. Now these are ones that are just temporary icons. They're running only because they're there only because we're running these apps. Uh, but this last, this one right here is a, a space that's been added using that command that we put into terminal up here. So what we do is if we want to move that somewhere, let's drag it. Uh, let's say I want to put, uh, well, that didn't quite work. Here we go. I want to separate my browsers from Microsoft Word and these others. And that's where I can drag it to. Now, if I want another one, I just hit the up arrow until that defaults right command shows up, and I hit enter. And then we hit the up arrow again a couple of times, and kill all doc will show up. And that refreshes the screen, so now we've got another one. I'm going to take that one, click and hold down on the trackpad or on your mouse button, and... Uh, he seems to be having trouble dragging it. There we go. And I'm going to separate my most used apps here, my Word app and my three Bible software apps. So now I've got another spacer here. So I just keep repeating this until I have added as many dock spacers as I like. Now let's say that I don't like this. Um, I, After using this a while, I think, you know, this is kind of annoying. Uh, maybe I've got too many or I don't want any of them, how do I get rid of them? Well, just like you were dragging it, now instead of dragging it down the line, you can click and hold and remove dock icon, or you just drag it off like that until the word remove shows up, then let go, and it goes away. This is a good tool for uh, organizing your icons. If you've got a whole bunch of these, maybe more than I do, then you might want to separate them to make it easy to glance down at your dock and find the right icon. You might just sort of know in your mind that uh, all your system uh, apps are over here, all your internet apps are here, your you know uh, office productivity apps are here, uh, your photo apps, you know, that kind of thing. Makes it quick and easy to um, launch apps from the icon, uh, from the dock. This has been Kevin Purcell with Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching.